Hello, guys, I'm Blum Yasmin with my little big creepy pasta reading called Flutter Shoes. It's 11 minutes and 28 seconds long. Uh, hopefully, I said that correctly because it's, it is a long name, Flutter Shoes. About Fluttershy. It has to be about Fluttershy, surely, with that Flutter. Flutter Brother, yeah. It is, but it's about Fluttershy, yeah. And you better not Fluttershy away from it. Seriously? Thank you, Apple Bloom. I did need that. I did need that, yeah. We're going to get this lesson started in three, two, one, go. Do, do, do. Ooh, what was that? Hello? Who's there? Sounds like an old type, old... Oh, uh, come on! Reminds me of like an old... Um, what do you call it? An old... On Saturday, September 25th oh, yeah. of 2010, at the Beverly Radio Center or, in Los uh, Angeles, California. Hasbro Marketing has it radio? A not radio, it's a... What do you call it? Pony character oh, it's a phone, that's the one. ...for their October 10th, 2010 premiere. Six actors and actresses were hired to be in costume for the event. The meet and greet was supposed to last from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Followed by another event the next day. Another event? What? Sorry? After the incident, oh, come on! all the ah! had been cancelled. Five of the six main characters exited the dressing room and proceeded to the stage, except for Fluttershy, who was to be played by Captain Wilson. She was the last to exit the dressing room. Problems arose from the start oh, that included on! an unusual odor and the assault of several guests. I knew she owed odor. That must be of a like, like, creep, like a creepy haunted location or something. Shortly thereafter, on Saturday, September twenty fifth of two thousand and ten, I, Daryl Castle, was tasked with escorting the characters out from their dressing room onto the stage at the Beverly Center Mall. Miss Catherine Wilson, the actress hired to Ms. play Catherine, the side, is that a pony was the last name? to arrive on stage. Already, it was apparent that something was wrong. Ms. You Wilson just distorted your voice! She was walking in an abnormal way, and unable to travel in a straight line. When asked... Oh, I love the movie face, effect! She really nodded and proceeded forward. I, I do love that movie that effect. What am I looking at? I'm not sure, like apart from black. With out. black movie there effect. There was a strange smell emanating from inside of it. Like it's like it, it's the start of a movie or end of the movie or film. They seem squishy. Once again, I asked Miss Wilson if she was able to continue. Once again, she nodded, insisting that she would be able to perform her duty. I let her go on stage and called wardrobe for the spare Fluttershy costume. Okay, we are a theater. Are we talking about theater? We talk about theater, aren't we? When they entered the stage, they didn't really explain the movie effect at the moment. Is that a stock image of a movie effect? So it sort of fits I want to use sometimes, but I can't. Uh, what's the word? I can't. I can't. Uh, what's the word? I can't seem to find it for my. Plot, there's no plugins, there's, there's long so steps with Premiere Pro. Hysterically when she got close to them. None of the other characters had this problem, but there were reasonably longer lines for the other five. When a few of the children got up in her to actually approach Fluttershy and pose for a picture, Miss Wilson started to act even stranger. She would grab them and, and hold them in a is this manner. sort of thing that she, a, she was like a cast member? It's like breaking the full ball. She was going to be a cast member of My Little Pony, but didn't make the cut. At which point the child would begin crying, and I would have to drag the child away from her back to their parents. At this time, I needed to point out that the smell from the Fluttershy costume had gotten even stronger. 
<laughs> what? Whoa, 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 now, wait. Fly, should I cos... Cos... Costume? Is this cosplay now? It was quite strong, with just visibly crunching whenever she got close enough. In one incident, Fluttershy, or Wilson, was clearly upset when a little girl refused to get close to her as she avoided Fluttershy and walked back to her parents. Ship! So I don't know why I'm shipping really, but anyway. I mean, like, um, reduced to skin and the bones being turned into mush or something. We could talk about a um, chemical agent then. Began to emanate from the costume. She was beginning to terrify me. Even so, I stayed with her, keeping her separate from the other. Reminds me of the news stories in the in, in, the, in, the, in the news about. Um, of course, the news stories could be in the news. The but you know what I mean? Um, with that um, um chemical incident, attempted murder. Can remind me of that for some reason. Okay. Initially, I paid them no mind, and asked the actors if they had noticed anything bizarre about Miss Wilson before they were to change into their costume. Was she poisoned in Wilson the dressing room, though? In costume when they entered. It was at this point the mall manager Was she sent, like, flowers or a drink or food that... And the door opened. He screamed in alarm, which caught my... Because it's coronation from something. Mall. Or some pony. Was Miss Wilson naked and bleeding from her right hand? Four of her fingernails missing from scratching her hand. What? Whoa, 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 what? Who is that? What's that? She had written a follow. That is a very creepy Fluttershy. Too many Fluttershy. They won't let me breathe. I think Fluttershy's dead. They won't let me. You're dead, Fluttershy. The Fluttershy hates me. The Fluttershy hates me. The Fluttershies are laughing at me. After Is it hallucination? No. Incomprehensible to read. It was then that we all heard the scream coming from Is the this, hallway. I've, I'm sensing that she's seen this in her pony's mind. In her pony mind, she's seen this. You are basically. And we're now you basically are the actress. You, oh, I can't remember the name, but you basically are the act actress. You're seeing like in a, in her. What she's seen now. She's seen this in her mind or something. Is that what I'm seeing now? That's what I'm thinking. It was almost as if his upper torso had been melted away. Next to him. Oh she Oh she is a candle now. The future smell of rot and death. Quickly enveloped the hall and I ordered an evacuation. Well you ordered an evacuation? Okay. We met the paramedic who treated me for minor burns to my hand where the black goo had touched it. Miss Wilson is a chemical agent. Was taken to the hospital for it's a observation. nerve agent. That's why it's called a nerve agent. The nerve of you. We agree with Mr. Castle's initial assumption that Miss Castle pity compo apoplum somewhere in, in the black area. Yeah. We believe that it was a type of airborne psychotropic drug that ultimately affected her the most severely and everyone else in the mall to Is it a plague? Hang on, is it a plague now? We 
believe that Miss Wilson had Is that a, a chemical agent? Is that a plague? Is that a... ...while in the mob closet and then changed into her costume. Chemical compound. By the time the others arrived on scene... Got a bit science in there, haven't I? ...permeated the air within the mob. Why is she smiling? ...was her exposure to it. Her reaction was oh, much more severe. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. I'm a bit I late, but... A bit, ...just a tiny bit late, oh, yeah. We assume that perhaps the others had not simply noticed her locking herself in it and were beginning to suffer the effects of the drug. This would explain the lack of the previously mentioned body of security guard Roger Halstead and the lack of any black fluid at the scene. The suit, which did smell black awful, fluid. was incinerated at the close of the initial investigation. Miss Catherine Wilson... Are you talking about like an oil sort of thing? Is that oil in, 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 in the eye? Disappeared. Because that reminds me of, of X-Files sort of thing. Federal and local Some of the stories are a bit like fucking X-Files. appears on the no-fly list as we speak. We do not expect to hear from her again. However, we have called security to keep their eyes open for her. In conclusion, no fly list. it is unknown oh. at this time who is responsible for inflating all of those yellow balloons with the pink butterflies and rabbit designs in the balloons. room of Miss Wilson. Blues now. Nor is it clear who left the Fluttershy doll with its eyes blacked out in her room as well. Okay. We will have to conduct an internal investigation into who might be responsible for such actions and speak with our manufacturers in China. These dolls aren't supposed to be on the market. China? And the fact that Didn't one I just say China? Mental hospital is China, a of all places. of our marketing and product policy. When found, the employee or employee should be terminated immediately to prevent any further violation. But you got to find the evidence, don't you? End of the movie. What be next? Oh, no. whoa, 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 What the beep happens next? Okay, I understand it's a creepy pasta. There's more to this, man. There's bloody more to this because, okay, she's affected, or the pony was infected by either the plague, an Nerve agent, like that's been in the f news. Jesus Christ, yeah. And how did she get in contact with this nerve agent slash plague in the first place? Was she already affected when she was in the dressing room? Who said if it was affected in the dressing room, who did. Oh, come on! Did it happen when she was in the dressing room? Did she get a, like a. A nominous um, gift. Sometimes that can happen. You get a nominous gift like three flowers. And you sniff the flowers, and that's how you inhale the the germs or the how the the chemical compound. And like I said, it reminds me of a X Files um, as well for some reason. Especially when you mentioned black. Reminds me of the black oil in in the show. It was actually in the game first, but yeah, that's another story. There's more to this. Um, I don't know what happened. That's a, that's what's nagging about me. I don't know what caused this in the first place. We don't know if it's a man-made, pony-made chemical. I should say pony-made chemical. Was it manufactured, or is it a natural uh, compound? Most compounds are basically two chemicals mixed with two chemical, two chemicals mixed into one, making it a a, a, a concoction that's man-made, and that's sort of thing we go back to to the lab. Is this connected to the other story with Twilight? That I'm not sure. I'm speculating that that could be completely out of utter utter utterly nonsense i think there's some un unanswered questions about this um, story uh i don't know what happened i'm confused i am bloody confused i don't know what happened i don't know if there's more to the story because it sounds like a it sounds at the end 
It sounded like a to be continued. It sounds like a to to be continued. I don't know. I don't think we've seen the last of this story at all. No. There's more to this. There's more to this. I just know it. I'm sorry for sorry for swearing. Okay, I hope you like this reaction or my reaction so I do. And I'll see you next time. Oh, yes.